Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to see lazy loading in live fire. So without any further ado, let's begin. So what is lazy loading? So it's generally a way to show some UI or show something to your user when your data is being rendered or when you're, when you're fetching data from your server. So for instance, suppose if uh, you are having like hundreds of products uh, or you are having like uh, like a huge web page and there are several components on your web page like or may, maybe several sections and each section or most of the sections are fetching data from the server so it shouldn't be the case that your user should see a blank screen like they should see something so that they stay on your website because uh, if they see the blank screen they might get frustrated and might like leave your site and go to somewhere else so how to keep it keep them engaged you can just have you can use a technique known as lazy loading so what you could do is you can put some animation or some spinners or something to show the user that it's something is going there something is going on like you're not left alone something like that and once your data is there you just switch the screen like you just remove the animation and put the data inside so today we are going to do that using live wire and let's see how we can do it. So first here, uh, I'm having like play, uh, fresh Laravel installation, like uh, I created the project service started and we will be, for, first I'll be showing you how we can load the user. So in my database, there are like around thousands of users. So I'm gonna simulate this using that database. And first we'll do the plain Laravel way. Then we'll take a step forward with plain live wire like we'll see how generally uh, it's done in live wire and then we'll use or try to have lazy loading in live wire so let's go here in the welcome.blade.php and first of all let's remove this so if i just take everything from here and save it and refresh it yeah cool and here i would give a title by the way, I'm using Tailwind for styling and Font Awesome for certain icons. So just I'm just using their CDN. So let's say lazy loading in live wire. Now, next thing we need is we will need a list of users. So I can go to routesweb.php and here I can just say like uh, something like this. So bit user and i could say user get like i'm purposely gonna get all the users let's just say users because i want to simulate like in a way that what will what to do when there is like a lot of data or something like that so i'm just gonna get all the users i can so and then i'll just include this so oops sorry uh, import class model user okay that's cool now let's see when we go over here i want uh at the rate for each dollar users as dollar user and for each and i just want to display user uh name. the name of the user this is seeded data so you might see some random names so yeah <laughs> so let's see now we, yeah so we have the list of users like there are several users uh it's kind of quick so now let's go to chrome and let's reduce the network so let's do laptop and in the network what i could do is yeah here i can just go to slow 3g kind of thing and then do a refresh so now you could see it takes a bit of a time and then refresh and then we have it again over here so if again like if uh, if what i could do is i can remove it for now like this and uh then i can see the plain screen and then i'll tell you what i exactly mean so now I have a plain screen and then if I get it back over here again and now if I refresh it now suppose someone is visiting your website and then uh, like there's some data fetching in and now 
they, just, they will just see this white screen for a long time and then there's something like this so how can we keep the customer engaged so this is a bit quick but sometimes it's there can be a lot of data to come on and come in and you never know like how much time it will take so how to hook up the user so let's create a live wire component first so i'll close the server for a moment i'll say php artisan make live wire oh wait i need to install the live wire first right so composer require live wire slash live so this will install live wire for us and then the next thing we need to do is quickly make the component like the list user list component and how to do that we will simply say php artisan make live wire actually not component else it will create a laravel component so i'll say make live wire come live wire and i will say user list uh, i already i have already done this so i'll say no for now <laughs> sorry and okay so we have our user list over here so if i go to uh, views live wire we have our user list over here and if i go to uh, app sorry app http live wire we have user list over here so what we could do is we can get this code from here like this take it from here this is not needed or rather let's do normal way first like i don't know it's just plain way and let's go over here and put it over here and get it over here like this and in our user list we will just copy this thing as it is and maybe i can just render it as a list so if i have to do it like a list what i could do is i can have it as a ul over here as for the div or i can do something like uh ol like order list so if, and here i can just say this will be in a list format so uh, we can see several names yeah so now let's save this and now let's include that component here so you can either use uh, html type syntax like html tag syntax or you can either use uh, blade syntax so <laughs> i generally like the tag syntax so i'll say live wire and then the name of the component i would say user list and just self-closing tag so you can do a self-closing tag or you could do something like uh, this live fire user list so whichever you prefer so i like the self-closing one so we'll just do it like that and now uh, once we have this we just go to our server start it again oops oh uh, no this one and then we just give a quick refresh and it's refresh 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 and we have our list so now we have our list and here you could see there is like a bunch of names so like a list of right, there are lots of names over here and what we need to do is go again here now we will try to do it with uh, lazy loading so what we will say we will take a variable here so as the public all our users so this will be all our users and i would say is loading equal to false now there are various ways you could handle lazy loading in live wire i guess there are like two to three ways actually like literally two to three ways so we will see uh one by one and now here what you need to do is uh let's take it from here like this and remove it from here and i will write another function here like a custom function get users something like this you can give any name to that i would say this users equal to user get now as we are loading the user so this actually by default should be true because we are still loading it and here in the user list we could say that 
at the rate if dollar is loading then show that spinner which i will include else this one and if and here i would do once the user is loaded i will say this is loading equal to false now what's happening here is uh, we are fetching the user the get you from the get users function we are loading it and we are putting uh, once we are fin once we finish loading we are putting this back again to false and how we can trigger that loading function we can say here wire in it and we could simply say from this like get users the name of the function so what does this do is when the component is rendered like once this thing is finished once it goes over here it will call this wire init function or this uh, wire init event so this will trigger the get users function and then it will like put in the data so after that's done we actually we need a spinner over here so i'll go to font awesome and just quickly take this one and quickly grab it put it over here and i will give some tailwind classes to this i would say text cxl so that we can see this or actually i could do like in a div and take it here let's take it from here class equal to 3xl and some space and this loading and let's have some animation to this so if i go to tailwind again i can do animation and yes so uh, yeah so we can do infinite animation or we can do however we want so i will do just spin so it will just keep on rotating and i'll just put it as a class over here so now we have it now let's go back to our tab uh so i just need to go to our tab back again this recorder is in the middle of this so i'll just take it over here and yeah so let's quickly reload and now we'll see loading over here something is happening here and the okay so we are not getting the users now so let's see what's wrong here so let's go back to over this oh we didn't save this so this is saved and da, 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 yeah is loading if it's loading as this yeah the most important thing live wire scripts and live wire styles so we need to go here and we need to add live wire styles and for the component we need to add like live wire scripts because live wire handles ajax request for us and if we don't include this then it cannot handle it so my bad sorry we should have included it now if i refresh the page it will go keep on loading 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 and then we will have it should have the users now this time they should be there there they are so we have our users everything is there so this is one way of doing lazy loading now let's see the other way you can use javascript for now so if i remove wire in it from here and then what i could do is i can have a script tag at the end so i can see script and i can add window dot add event listener if you are into javascript you could use this else this completely optional so i can say load or dom content loaded that would be the best way because uh, we want to see for this actually this should be document because we want to see only for this document and if this is done to call that this function over here get users so how we could do it we can say add the rate so this so this is in if you are in live wire blade sorry live wire component you could use this special uh you could call it directive or symbol that that did this 
which uh, straight away communicates with anything over here which is a public property so we can say get users so this will execute this function over here get user so let's see if i save this and if i go back over here do a quick refresh and now it will t -t 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 loading and we should see our users shortly there so this is another way of doing lazy loading with livewire there is one more way actually so what we could do is instead of doing if and else we simply uh, remove this like this from here oh no we don't need to remove the spinner actually so what we could do we could say wire loading so if we say wire loading that means one if some processing is going on then this thing will be shown but bear in mind that this will be shown for each and every processing and good so here is daisy loading and then we have our users so as you saw like there are three ways of doing it like one is using a variable and putting a wire in it over here the next is from this uh, same with the variable and just calling the function using javascript the third is using wire loading where this will work for anything whenever it's loading it will work so even if uh, even if i do some other uh, operations like if i if there was some other function of deleting a user it's it this because of wire loading it can it will still show but if i want to uh, put it for a particular function i could target to a function what you could do is you could say wire loading and then wire target equal to so what target you want this loading to go on so it's the get users so if you do this and i'm gonna give a real quick refresh so this will keep on loading and once it's done it will go off again so that's all for now if you have any like if you have any questions you can put it in the comments uh hope you like this video and please put your opinion in the comments like how we would uh, what are the other ways you could do lazy loading with live wire and yeah well also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please give a like as well thumbs up please and goodbye